Hello and welcome, I'm Bertha Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Cybertron Megatron and I love this toy. But before we do, if you haven't done so already, please take a moment to consider subscribing to the channel. It won't cost you anything, but it'll help me and it'll help the channel grow. If you'd like to further help out the channel, please share it with your friends if you like what you see. Share this video on social media, invite them to come over, check out the channel, maybe subscribe as well. The best way to keep up with what's going on with the channel is to come back and check it out often. I usually upload one or two videos a week, sometimes more. Finally, if you'd like to further help out the channel, I have placed a donate button up at the top banner. If you want to click on that, I certainly would appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for watching, and now let's go check out this figure. And here we have Megatron in his vehicle mode, and he's absolutely massive this vehicle mode is approximately 13 inches long and about four inches tall he's huge and i absolutely love this vehicle mode i know a lot of people don't care for this but i really do i'm having a hard time trying to get him all in shot here because he's just so massive but um i this to me looks like a demonic batmobile and i absolutely love everything about that i'm a big Batman fan i'm a big fan of batmobiles and this reminds me of a batmobile so this is okay with me absolutely love it now i know that in the show he didn't use a vehicle mode all that much uh he mostly used the jet mode uh which it in toy purposes the jet mode we're going to look at that in a moment but it's kind of more of an in-between mode as far as i'm concerned uh, uh it's not as great as the vehicle mode i love this car mode he rolls really nicely going all the way around he's got some turbines back here he's got some wings and spoilers in the back there some more stabilizer wings i guess right there in the back huge absolutely massive wheels we got a cockpit right here in the center and just little wings and stuff and spoilers all over the place this just screams batmobile to me and i love every bit about it now he did come with a couple of missiles the missiles would go up here and he did come with a cyber key unfortunately i don't have those uh, i did get this guy used a while ago some years ago actually i did get him uh loose and uh and used so he was missing the missiles and the cyber key i have not been able to track down those missiles or that cyber key which is really unfortunate i do have the other two accessories which we're going to be looking at in a little while but there you go just absolutely cool 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 vehicle mode now the way the key and the missiles would have worked for this mode right here would have been uh you would enter the key right here And as you saw just now, you got these two turbines that just popped out, and we've got some, uh, some, some, uh, I guess warm-up sounds or turbine sounds, or uh, that would have been the sound he makes as the turbines is coming out. He's transforming in the jet mode and he's taking off. So that's kind of like that flyby sound right there. And then he's got the two launchers up here. You would press on these and shoot the buttons. I'm not sure if the missiles made any sound when you uh, would have fired them because again, I've never had the missile, so I've never been able to fire this. So I don't know, but there's that. Now getting into, actually, before we do the jet mode, let's do some quick uh, comparisons, uh, which I, I don't quite know how we're gonna do this because these guys are so big. So here he is with, uh, since we're doing the, Sar the uh, Unicron trilogy, here he is with the Armada Galvatron slash Megatron mold right there. So you can see what these guys look like together. Let's just pick it up so you can Kind of see the whole thing and again you can see how much bigger the new cybertron or the newer at the time cybertron megatron figure was just absolutely massive and we'll move him off to the side and now this things are going to get tricky uh we're going to bring in the energon megatron and again massive massive figures i love this because again these guys were you know when they were released back in the day these guys were only retailing for about 40 bucks and you got a lot of toy for 40 bucks so that's very very cool and i guess i did not address that with uh megatron here for cybertron uh, he was released in june of 2005 he was a leader class figure and retailed for approximately 40 dollars so again for 40 dollars you got a massive beautiful figure with lights and sounds and electronics and shooting missiles and gimmicks and all kinds of cool stuff you got a lot of toy and a lot of playability out of this guy back then which is very 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 cool so let's get 
into transformation we're going to do the first uh, alternate mode which is the jet mode uh, not a whole lot to it all we're going to do is separate the whole front of the car here so these spoiler wings we're going to separate those there that's not supposed to happen yet <laughs> so we're going to separate those uh, we're going to take these little wings here just move them up and over so that they're kind of out of the way and there's a lot of these little rubber wingy things that we have to keep track of while we're playing with this thing all right we're going to up peg the front of the vehicle here there's a peg there and there is a peg there so we're going to unpeg those and just kind of split that up and then we're just going to bring this all the way back and then this peg is going to peg into the center of the back wheel right there so there's that one and then there's that one there kind of straighten out the wings and again we're going to put in that cyber key so we can get those turbines in that flight by mode And there you go. There is Megatron's flight mode, which is, again, the one that he used the most in the show. Uh, my least favorite of the three modes uh, for the toy. Uh, I just, I just, this as a, a jet mode does not work for me. Uh, the vehicle mode, though, as a Batmobile does everything for me. So I absolutely love it. Now, he does have wheels here in the front, so he can still roll in this jet mode, and he can still kind of go around. So uh, size stays about the same, of course. It's still uh, that 13 inches long and about 4 inches tall. He now has a wingspan of about 12 inches, so he gets very, very, very large very quickly. So getting into transformation, the transformation of this guy is... It's relatively straightforward, but it's very fiddly, so I hope I can show it off on camera without looking like I don't completely know what I'm doing. Uh, there's a lot of little bit fiddly bits that you got to keep track of, like, you know, things like this, for example. We'll go ahead and just move those up and out of the way now. Move these down, and, you know, things are going to be popping and whatnot. So we'll go ahead and unpick these and just kind of leave them off to the side for now. That's really kind of what they're going to do. Uh, we're going to start right back here in the back. We're going to take these... Uh, little rubber feet things here and we're going to move those over and then we're going to bring the feet down we're going to peg that into that port right in there and, and do that side as well and then on these rubber pieces here if you notice there it, there is a peg it's again hard to show it's such a large figure that peg in there we're going to put that into that center hole in the wheel back there so when we bring the foot down we're going to peg that right in there and hopefully that'll hold throughout the rest of the transformation again very 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 fiddly figure okay so let's move the camera up all right so we're going to get the legs out of the way and this whole hip piece here is going to rotate on this hinge down and lock into place so we just kind of rotate those at the base bring this down continue rotating as you do bring that down lock it into place and now we can go ahead and straighten out the legs there you go that's the legs pretty much all done there and then these things we're just going to go ahead and rotate them back and get them out of the way there's going to be some i think yeah there's they're, they're like multiple hinges here okay so we're going to rotate at this hinge and then we're going to bring them down on that this hinge out here so that this sits around the back of the vehicle like that and i like to turn these over so that they're facing away from them. So same thing over here. We're just going to bring these up and over. Like that. And then turn these around. And I think that's the way I want to go. I think that's the way I want to go. I always get confused on these. So we'll see when we get to robot mode if I got those right the first time. <laughs> okay. Arms. My goodness. It's so tall. Let's uh, move this up again. All right. So that top there, we're going to split that over. Or split that in half. This is going to be our arm. So, oh, we're going to take these panels. Remember, remember about all these little fiddly panels. So, again, let's move these out of the way. We're going to take these and open those. Then I'll move these up and out of the way. All right. So, again, I'm going to take this whole front of the vehicle here. I'm going to split it in half. There's a couple of pegs there. And this is just going to come out. These are going to come down like so. Um, let's see. Now, this is going to split and come down. And when we do, there's a tabs here and here. They need to tab into his back there and there. So we're going to bring that all the way down and over like that and look for those peg holes on his back. I hope this is coming through on camera okay. There and there. And now we can bring these 
back again like that to cover that up. Make sure that these are out and bring the arms down. My arms are getting very tired. This figure is also heavy. <laughs> okay, now we can go ahead and just straighten these out. So these are on sliders. This, these little pieces here are on sliders. So you can slide these out like that. And then we're going to turn the arm which way? This way. Yep. So this is going to come around this way. And then that peg is going to go into that hole there. Like that. And we can straighten out the arm, straighten out the fist. Same thing on this side. So we're going to straighten this out. So the green part is facing us. Slide that green part down. Bring this up and peg it in there. And straighten out the fist. Finally, let me see if I got these right. I think I got these right. I think I did. Yeah, these are meant to be kind of like wings. So they're just going to hang off on his back there. And I just want to make absolutely sure that I got them right. Uh, yes, I did. I did get them right the first time. See, I should have never second-guessed myself. <laughs> there. Like that and like that. So that's going to be kind of his cape kind of thing. And we're going to reach in here. We're going to bring his head all the way out. That's going to stay up there. And we're going to take his horns and straighten them up. All right, so now we get to straighten out Megatron. And there he is in robot mode. Cybertron Megatron in his robot mode and again massive massive figure i'm backed up as far as i can go there we go here in robot mode megatron is approximately 10 inches tall he's absolutely massive and gorgeous absolutely beautiful figure i really do love the way this figure looks again i know it's not everybody's favorite megatron from this from the uh, unicron trilogy but i absolutely love him this looks demonic to me it looks so so very very cool and uh, we'll go ahead and knock out the comparisons real quick so we can get them done. And here he is with Armada Megatron. So you can see how much he's evolved and grown along the trilogy there. He's gotten a lot bigger. <laughs> and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, take him off to the side and bring in Energon Megatron, which is also a massive, massive figure. Let's try to get both of these guys in shot here very very cool these guys all look so cool up on the shelf together absolutely i'm so happy that i got these down uh or out of storage and i got them back out and i've been able to play with them because they're fun fun figures it's uh it's fun to go back and revisit some of these older figures sometimes so okay so let's see a couple of the things that megatron here can do uh real quick let's just come in close so you can see the head sculpt again very demonic it's very cartoon accurate of course the cartoons were designed after the toys so that the uh, toys were accurate to what you saw on TV. So again, there you go. Very demonic looking head and just kind of looking all the way down across Megatron. He just looks fantastic. We'll get him refocused and we'll just kind of look at him all the way around. So yeah, he is going to be a bit kibbly and that is by design because he's supposed to have all of these spikes and horns. And, you know, it's supposed to kind of uh, evoke a cape sort of. So there you go. Um... So I kind of think that we're going with a bat motif with this guy. I really do. Um, there's just too many uh, hints there of bat to not think that. Articulation, the head can turn side to side. The arms can go all the way around at the shoulder. They can also go in and out. They can turn at the bicep. You got a nice double bend at the elbow and a rotation at the wrist. You do have a wrist, a wrist, a waist rotation, although it is hindered by his backpack. The legs can go forward. Uh, and backward, again, hindered by the backpack, in and out, rotation at the thigh, uh, bend at the knee, and then the, le the, the toes or the feet can go up and down, and they also have an ankle tilt. So nice, possible figure right here. Very, very cool. Now, let's look at a couple of the features, a couple of the things that we can do, a couple of his weapons. So again, we're going to evoke the cyber key here. And we're going to start off right here on the front. You guys saw these pop open a couple of times while we were in vehicle mode. So we're going to start off with this guy right here. I love this one. So we're going to pop in the cyber key, and that's going to open up. And then we're going to reach in there, that little peg, and we're going to push that peg, and that's going to release this gun right here. So we can go ahead and remove the key and close this. And we'll come back around to show off the gun. So... Uh, it's just a wheel off the vehicle that came off. You take the wheel and straighten it forward. You got a handle right there. 
and then you got a crank up here so you got yourself a very cool Gatling gun as you can see very very cool love that and I love the way that the weapon integrates into the vehicle so that it's gone when he's in vehicle mode it's gone so we can go ahead and peg that in there or if you wish if you want to do the Megatron thing even though this Megatron doesn't really do it but you can plug it into the side of his arm right there so you got the arm cannon for Megatron uh, but this iteration of Megatron didn't do that he just held it in his hand like so so there you go there is that now on the other side we also have a cyber key weapon we're going to go ahead and pop that and this looks really cool when it pops open so yeah that the, all these spikes kind of come up and over like that as you saw so that didn't work too well after time so we'll go ahead and release that one and uh, we'll come back around to the side here or to the front rather so this is kind of like a spike uh, or a melee weapon slash shield kind of thing. And as you can see, when you move the um, the peg uh, back and forth, the spikes go up and down. So the way this works is this actually pegs into the side of the arm right there, just above the wheel. And you can see the curvature is designed to go with the curvature of the wheel right there. So you can peg that guy right in there. And that serves, again, as a sort of a shield slash melee weapon. And then you can move it up and down. And it's going to do that, that spiky move thing right there so very 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 cool and we'll take the cyber key and we can just pop it back here i guess and uh, the missiles don't really do anything in vehicle modes or in robot mode rather so there you go uh there he is cybertron megatron in robot mode <laughs> i think he looks so so cool i really do i love this figure very, very much i'm glad i got it i really hope to someday find the missiles and the proper cyber key for him and i think that about covers the transformers cybertron megatron let me know what you think of this figure give me some thumbs up subscribe and share with your friends if you like what you see as always thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you next time